Hey everyone, Anil here and welcome back to another video of Power Apps. So today we are going to start a playlist for Power Apps full course. And in this course, we will discuss everything in the details from beginning to advance. So whatever is concept behind Power Apps and what is the, uh, you know, worst case scenarios that we are using in our uh, our current projects, in our live projects, everything we are going to discuss step by step. And also, we will see how we can connect a Power Apps, a Canvas app with a different, different variety of data sources. All right, so here are a few points, you know, that are that are very highlighted that we are going to discuss in complete course. So like, what is Canvas app? and create your first canvas app with different data sources okay so i'll let you know in the details of what is a canvas app and where and how we can use the canvas app you know there are uh, different kind of apps like a uh, model driven app portals and canvas app so i will let you know when and where we have to use canvas app and where we can use the portal or where we can use the model driven app also we will discuss a different different data sources where we have to use a sharepoint list as a data source and uh, you know uh, the other hand is uh, dataverse as a data source and also we will discuss modern ui and modern controls you know Power Apps provided a uh, different kind of model, modern controls for now because before that uh, we use the classical controls but modern controls are very good look and feel so we will discuss these controls also. Power FX we will discuss and build different screen and connect with uh, you know different data sources. Also, the main part of you know uh, our application is monitoring to the our app. So monitoring is basically, uh, you know, uh, whenever a application is running at the runtime, if we are getting any kind of error into the application, how we can figure it out? Because if application is running, you know, we are not able to understand on a runtime where we are getting the error. So we will see, you know, a tool that is called a Power Apps Monitoring Tool that we will discuss in the details. Also, we will see uh, how we can create a different different environments because uh, because whenever a application is going to be created, always we have to make a good practice that we will create a solution and the solution we will build on a environment that will be our dev environment. You know, like it's a uh, it's a concept of uh, you know application development like. Uh, uh, first, our application will be developed on, uh, you know, dev environment, then it will go for uh, testing on a UAT environment, then we will go on the production. So this is the process. So we will discuss the complete process, uh, you know, at the end. Also, we will discuss, you know, how we can deploy our application from one environment to another environment. Okay, so these all the things we will see in the details. Okay, for now. I will show you what is the Power Apps. Okay, so here, if you will see, this is whenever you will type make dot apps dot com. You know, I have already logged in, so I can see this screen. You know, this is the home page screen. But whenever you will paste this URL make dot apps dot com, it will ask you for login. How you can log in? You know how you can create a new fresh account for Power Apps. I will let you know in my next video. But here, if you will see in a home page, we can see uh, this home page. Here you can create your plans, and here is all your applications. This plan we will discuss later. And whenever you will click on this create button, you will see the options like start with copilot. We will discuss the copilot also. Start with data. So data is like create new tables, select existing tables or connect to external data sources. Start with a page design and start with a blank application. So whenever I will click on this start with a page design, see here, we are getting a different, different pages over here. All the pages we will discuss 
in my next videos step by step. So for now, uh, I will click on start with a blank canvas app because we are looking forward for now the canvas app. Okay, so you can see here the responsive tablet size and phone size. So if you are looking to create your uh, application in a phone only, then you can go specific phone and you know, it is specific for phone size only. And this is for tablet and this is responsive for desktop, tablet and phone. So I will click over here, see here. So the application has been created, but whenever I will click on save button, it will ask me to provide a name. So I will say first, Canvas app. Okay. Click on save. It will save. And here you can see this is the screen. Now, whenever I will click, I can see blank screen, split screen, sidebar screen, header and footer, approval screen, welcome screen. So there are different, different kind of screens. You know, meeting, calendar, landscape, portrait, we having different kind of screens okay so these screens we will discuss in my next videos now if you will see here we can see the data so whenever you will click on add data you can see here are multiples connectors okay see here we having multiple connectors sharepoint asql server power bi outlook office 365 lots of connectors for basic connectors we will discuss you know in this complete playlist but for now if i suppose go for sharepoint and i will click on the sharepoint you know it will ask me to connect a site i will click on the site and i will click you know for any list and connect over here also in this playlist we will see a basic concept of of a sharepoint list how we can play around with the SharePoint list, okay? And you know, here, if I will show you, we having different kind of, you know, controls and these all are the containers, okay? So we will discuss also how we are going to divide a screen as per the customer requirement, okay? And from here, we can see we having multiple controls over here. Now, whenever you will go over here into the setting, you can see we having the options for updates. In updates, we having modern controls and themes. Whenever you will click over here, you will click on on, your modern controls will be visualized over here. See here, so this is the modern control. This is the modern control. Table also modern control. So, you know, these controls, uh, are very, uh, you know, lightweighted and also very good look and feel uh, in comparison to the basic controls. So, so, so we will discuss everything in the details. Okay. And uh, if I will show you, whenever I will click over here, you know, my application is running. So let me put something over here. Click on. Okay. So this is the label control. If you will see here, this, con uh, you know, this container is horizontal. And that's the reason it is shifting to the completely into the left. I will let you know everything in the detail, how we can play around with the containers. Welcome to my first Power Apps app. Okay. Now, what I will do, I will make it, uh, you know, flexible width. So it will come into the center. Let me put it into the center. This will be in the, into the center. So now whenever I will click on the run button, you can see it is showing welcome to my first Power Apps application. Now, if I will just click on this mobile, you can see here, this screen is mobile responsive. Okay, now if I will choose the tablet, you can see this is the mobile, this is the tablet responsive. Now, if I will choose the browser, you know, in the canvas size, you can see this is the canvas responsive. So this is completely responsive application, okay? So all the things we are going to 
discuss into the details so stay tuned stay connected and don't forget to subscribe my channel because we are going to discuss all the scenarios you know also we will cover like uh, if you are going for an interview what kind of questions you know your interviewer can ask you so all the scenarios all the live projects we are going to discuss in this complete playlist so don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned stay connected and see ya bye bye